Hey guys, before getting started, I would just like to let you know that there is a Google Docs link in the description of all my YouTube videos. It's a subscription list which is completely for free where I share important information and advices about studying in America and a lot of personality development tips. So if you want that, it's completely free. Go ahead and fill that form out after watching this video. But after watching this video, not right now, okay? I'm playing with Alright, so what's up you guys, I hope you watched my previous video about just updates about how I got this unique full scholarship in America. As I s explained in my previous video that I went to a community college and then transferred to a university to on a full scholarship. Now this, actually you should go check that out first if you haven't watched that one first because that's the part one. This is a series of videos how I have gotten this full scholarship at Texas Christian University. It was a long journey and it was pretty unique. I have not heard any such journey of going to a community college and then going to get a full scholarship. There are very few people that actually do that. And especially if you're from India, dude, this is something, this is something completely new to Indians because our culture just does not allow us to go to community college, I would say. Because when I decided to go to a community college, there were so many people that were negative, they were against me. But then, I don't know, I just made that move and I do not regret it at all, alright? So, this video is about how I got this $200,000 scholarship. It's almost, I mean, a little bit less than $200,000, but it's $200,000. Or maybe even like 200,000, I don't even know. So how I got this scholarship in one word is networking. 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 This word is being used so many times on a lot of YouTubers, YouTube channels. You need networking to find jobs. You need networking to make your own global network, to meet people. I mean, networking is important not just in America, in any country, wherever you are, networking is the key. And another key thing about networking is that you need to be charismatic. You need to be smart enough. You need to be, you need to be out there, enthusiastic, trying to learn from other people, trying to respect them, trying to be with them, collaborate, teamwork, a lot of different things. Now, I'm gonna share a little bit of story all right this is a story uh, it's a pretty interesting story I've actually made a video about it earlier you should try to check that out if you want but I'm gonna explain the same thing again here it's a fantastic story which helped me get a full scholarship and also 60 other students get a full scholarship all right but all right, so let me just straight get into it I'm not gonna waste any time all right so obviously I was at a community college for one and a half years, I was at Orange Coast College. I was looking for scholarships to transfer to universities. I did not have a lot of money that I could transfer to a private university. Um, so I was looking for scholarships, but at the same time, I was super enthusiastic. I was trying out there. I was working in the admissions department, trying to build my network. And at this point, um, I, in 2018, my boss, Christopher Toribio, I think I also have a video with him. You should go check that out too. He asked me if I would like to connect with someone called Joanne Liu. She is the most amazing counselor I've ever met. One of the most amazing counselors. In 2018, about 60 to 70 Nepali students were, had gotten a full scholarship at UT Tyler, University of Texas at Tyler. But I think in 2018, or I think it was 2018, their scholarships were revoked, meaning their scholarships were canceled. These were um, for, from middle class to uh, lower middle class families in Nepal who, whose dream was to study in America. All of them had gotten, uh, gotten these amazing full scholarships and then they were canceled. This was almost like their dream being taken away from them. So. Joanne Liu and from Singapore, so she's in Singapore, and I think eight other counselors had made this group called the Justice League. The Justice League 
was looking for justice. They were trying to find other scholarship opportunities for these students and trying to place them into different schools. This was something which was happening in Nepal. And then there was counselors, not only from Singapore, but Joanne was from Singapore. Um, so there's Singapore, then I think Brazil, Japan, Nepal. So th there are people from all over the world. They were trying to get together and help these Nepali students. And this was becoming a very big thing in the admissions department of all universities in America. I worked in the international admissions department. So I obviously got the news of this thing happening. So Joanne and everyone else was trying to find scholarships for all these students. And there was, they were also trying to fundraise for a few students that, were, had, that had gaps in their scholarships. In this time, they were trying to fundraise and stuff like that. So I, as soon as I got to know about it, my boss asked me if I would like to make a YouTube video and do some social media marketing things to help them fundraise. Obviously, I said yes. I was super passionate about anything related to admissions. And I had a pretty decent following on YouTube at that time. So I thought, why not just make a video about it? Because they were lacking media support. And being an individual influencer, I thought maybe that's a good idea. Okay, coming back to how it actually helped me. I helped them. I got in touch with all the counselors. I got in touch with the students. And I made videos for them, helped them fundraise a little bit. That's it. That's the end of 2018. That's all happened, okay? But then, in 2019, I was talking to this one of those students. He was from Nepal. He studies at TCU. His name is Kundan Chaudhary, okay? I went to Dallas. I think we met once. And then when I went back to California, I went to meet some uh, one of my family friends to Texas. Then I went back to California. I was chilling. And then I was just talking to him once on the phone. And I asked him about scholarships for community college transfer international students. And he says that, yeah, there are definitely scholarships available for community college transfer international students. And I was like, what? I definitely need to get in touch with the admissions counselor, the admissions director. It was just so fast because as soon as I got to know about TCU offering scholarships to international transfer students, I immediately was about to email the admissions department. But then I tried to contact Joanne Liu and Emily, who is another counselor in Brazil, one of those nine counselors. And um, I told them that I, I want, I'm interested in TCU. They got me in touch with the director of international admissions at TCU. That's what I mean by networking. If I would have emailed the admissions department of TCU, it would have given a different impression rather than a counselor in Brazil trying to recommend me to the TCU Director of International Admissions. Does that make sense? It's just amazing how a small thing which I did, and actually, so helping these Nepali students were completely voluntary, I was not getting paid for it, and it was something that I never even considered putting on my resume, because it was just one video which I made for them, which is not a super big thing. I did not think that it's going to help me a lot, but I, I, was, ha I was happy that it helped me like, I mean, in my professional career, I didn't think that it's gonna help me a lot. But then again, this small thing which I did, which I thought was really, I mean, in comparison to a lot of other things which I was doing on my own college at OCC, this was like really small. But then, I don't even know, somehow this networking thing worked and I was able to get in touch with the admissions counselor and then we literally had a video interview in two days. And I think one month later, I had the scholarship letter in my hand. I did not get this complete scholarship only because of the referral, but obviously my grades, my YouTube channel, and I was super active on campus. I was the vice president of the student government. I was working in the admissions department. I was a global ambassador. I was doing a ton of other stuff, you know? So, but again, I think GPA was not the number one thing which helped me. All right, so if you guys wanna actually hear more about what I did at my work and what I think helped me, then I would like about, how about 100 likes on this video, okay? If I get 100 likes, thumbs up on this video, then I'm gonna make another video about how, how what I did at the admissions department, how what I worked for, and what did I do as a global ambassador, and how I think that it helped me to transfer to TCU with a full scholarship.
All right, so that is pretty much, okay, one more thing which is left is I think that private universities in America have more scholarships for international students than public universities. So if you are looking for a transfer to, I mean transfer from a community college, then look into private universities um, because they usually have more scholarships. But that is pretty much it for this video. Go and check out my next video which is about how I got a full scholarship without SAT, TOEFL, or IELTS. Isn't that just crazy? Like the entire world tells you to get a high score in SAT, a high score in TOEFL, a high score in IELTS. I did get a full $200,000 scholarship without submitting any of these results. Obviously I took the SAT, I took the IELTS too. I'm gonna share my scores in the next video. But I never ever ever submitted my scores to TCU to get this scholarship, all right? So go check out that channel. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Helps me, motivates me. So uh, like this video, put down in the comment section down below what you wanna hear about. And obviously follow me on Instagram. You can ask me any questions there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.